everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am gonna make three cute little like, I don't know, Easter decorations. You can decorate them however you want to. It doesn't even have to be for Easter, but I'm doing mine for Easter just to get things started here because as soon as Valentine's Day is over, my Easter stuff is coming out. <laughs> so we're gonna use four of these little crates. You know, they always have these at Dollar Tree. Um, but you gotta be careful now because the older crates, I have noticed, I've had a hard time matching these up because the older ones were a little bit bigger. These are a little bit smaller, but whatever, not by much. Or these are bigger, so I don't know. But they are a different size now than from when I made my paint stand back here. That's for sure. But anyway, we're gonna turn one into a wheelbarrow. Fingers crossed. Um, two of these are gonna be raised, like little planter kind of things. I'm gonna do like a single one here with this one, and then this one is gonna be a double wide here, if you will. And so you're gonna need four of these. Um, I have these little legs I'm gonna use for the single one back there. I'm just gonna use these snowmen from Dollar Tree. I always get a bunch of these and put them away because you flip them upside down, they make great little legs for risers and things. So you're gonna need four of those. And then I have four bigger ones. These actually came out of this package I've shown before that I got on Amazon. It was $13.99. Um, I don't remember exactly how many is in here, but here is the number for that if anybody wants to look those up. Just pause this video here and you can get the numbers. But um, that came in all different sizes. I think it was three different sizes. It was really big ones, but these are a little bit too big for this project. And then there's this size, and then there's some that are just teeny weeny in there. But you get a lot of them, and I've got a lot of use out of that bag of things already. So I hear a little pea is gonna start screaming out there right now. I'm gonna need a couple popsicle sticks for the wheelbarrow. Um, I took two of these. These are just the smaller ones they usually have at Dollar Tree. Sometimes you can find them plain. A lot of times they have the colored ones, and you can use them. You just have to paint them. But um, <clears throat> I took them, and I cut a piece off with my handy-dandy little cutter here. Or you could even use wire cutters. They, they will cut these, too. But I cut these at two and a half inches. These are going to be the handles for the wheelbarrow. And then for the wheels, I'm going to use these checkers. They have those checkers games in the toy section at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to do that right now while I'm thinking of it here. I'm just going to put a, whoops, stupid glue gun. I'm going to put a couple big globs of hot glue on this one and on this one on the side that has like the crown. And then we're just going to flip them together and squeeze into that hot glue. And that is going to be our wheel for the wheelbarrow. How easy is that? Um, I've got a lot of use out of these little checkers. It's it's funny the things that you can think of to do. Ugh. Glue galore. Glue galore. All right, that's really hot. So we're going to set that aside because we don't need that until we get all these pieces glued together. Now, you really want to glue your pieces together before you paint them. I'm actually going to like use a stain, but not a stain. Um, I'm going to use this real brown what is this apple barrel it's indoor outdoor gloss it doesn't matter you can use this you could use acrylic you could use uh, chalk paint if you wanted to i'm just going to add a little water to it and we're going to use this for our stain which is so easy to do um and i really like that real brown color it comes out really nice all right so for this one here um, we can take this one here and use we're going to use the little snowman we're just going to take some of the super glue wood glue that you can find at dollar tree down in the hardware section um, I wish they put this up in the crafter square section because I'll tell you what, I use these all the time for crafting. And we're going to put one of these on each corner here, these little snowmen. And when you flip them over, they don't look like snowmen, which is pretty cool. Oops, too much glue. There we go. One on each corner. I just, I just put them, I don't know, I don't measure. Um, you know, just in just a tiny, tiny bit. Just kind of make it even on both sides. <clears throat> i got a lot of glue here on my finger yet, so we're going to use that for this one. But this is real simple. All these projects. And you can do so much with these little crates. These are so much fun to do things with. All right. So we're going to push them down real good. And just put this aside. I'm going to let that dry. And then... Um, this one here, I want to add that wheel. To, I'm not going to put the wheel on until the very end, only because I'm going to hot glue that on, because I really don't know any other way to do that. It's just going to get hot glued on down here on the bottom. 
but I want it to raise up so it sits a little bit on an angle, like a wheelbarrow would. And I want to put this in with my little cute little Easter bunnies that I got at Dollar Tree. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take three of these tum towering tumbling blocks. You know what they are from Dollar Tree that they have in the toy section too. I always buy a ton of those. Um, I'm going to glue one here, one of the tumbling blocks right here. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this a little bit higher. Um, I didn't really have anything else. So we're going to glue one of them on here this way. Just laying down and in, I don't know, probably about maybe a half an inch. Put that in there. And then these two we're going to put on top of this on the edges. And I'm hoping that that's going to make this baby stand up nice. Just because it's got to stand up a little bit on angle. Bottom of bunny. So we're just going to put them right on the edge. Like so. And that will be the feet on the back and that's going to raise that up and then our wheel will go right here. So I think that'll be really cute. So now, whoops, stand up there. Once I get, it doesn't take long for this stuff to grab either. This stuff, um, the super glue wood glue, it, it you can really work with it probably in about 15 minutes. You have to be careful because it's not quite, quite set yet, but you can work with it very short period of time. Okay, so let me get that. Come on, get down there. There we go. All right, we're going to set that aside there with our wheel and our little pegs here, so don't forget those. They're going to have to get glued on here too um, after that dries, but I don't want to do any more. Now these two... I am actually going to glue together and we're going to make this look like just a one big box because we're going to fill this in with goodies. You're not even going to see the center bar here. So it will look like one big centerpiece when we're done. So we're going to glue those two together. I have a couple of these clamps here I'm going to use to hold this. So get some glue on here. I'm going to just put a little bit on this one too. Whoops, too much. I cut the holes way too big on this glue bottle the other day. If you guys are watching, I told you that. It was a mess. I kept getting glue everywhere. I'm going to add just a touch of hot glue down here just to be as a clamp on the bottom of these. And then you're just going to want to squeeze these together real good. Make sure they're sitting nice and flat because we're going to put legs on these so you don't want them to wobble. Um, these are the closest I could get to them matching. And then they have these clamps at Dollar Tree too. Sometimes they have them in the Crafter Square section, other times they're down the hardware section. But I love these little clamps for projects like this. So we're just gonna put them right down on there. See how that grabs that and pulls it together nice. And then we're gonna put one down here on this side too. Yay, look, it squeezes that glue right up there. So that will have a nice tight fit. So hopefully I can balance this while these clamps are on here. Yeah, I can. And we're gonna glue the legs on too. These are the ones from Amazon. So we're just going to glue these down on here. These are going to be so much fun. These are so easy to make too. You'll see how just how fast. The fun part and the most what takes the longest is deciding on what you're putting in them with the flowers and whatnot. So we're going to get two over here and push them down a little bit more here in a minute. And then two over on this side. I want to use the bigger ones because um, this thing's a lot bigger than the single one. So I figured these bigger ones would look better. All right, so push them down there a little bit. And then all we got to do is sit and wait for all of this stuff to dry. And then we can go ahead and stain them. But this wood glue works better if you put wood on wood. Somebody had told me that not too long ago in one of the comments, which, you know, I kind of knew that. But, you know, sometimes I'll just glue it on if it's just a craft project onto paint. So there, that is going to be our cute little stand. I'm going to flip it over with the nice little legs on it. So let's see, anything else we can do here? Yeah, I'm going to get those on here. All right, let me set you over here to dry, and hopefully you're going to stay together nice. I think that's good. Okay, so now these are going to be our little handles, and these are going to go up. See how this glue already holds? I don't want to touch it because it'll probably fall off. But these are just going to go right here. They put it in like a half an inch. And we're just going to glue these on here and then that's going to get stained the same way so i figured i could go ahead and just glue them on with some of our wood glue here 
It's going to be right up here on the top of this one. And that will be our handles for the wheelbarrow. So there's one handle. And that, whoops, I want hot glue. I want wood glue. And I may reinforce these a little bit with some hot glue too. I don't know. There is the other one. I think I got them pretty even. Let's see. Yeah, not too bad. There we go. Maybe up a little bit more. I think that looks good. All right, so all this stuff we are just going to let sit here. And then as soon as this glue is all nice and set up, we are going to come back and paint all of these. Actually, I could just show you what we're going to do here because you guys all know how to paint. Everybody knows how to paint. But for this, we are just going to take one of these little old ice cream cups here. <laughs> Uh, we're going to add some of this paint, and then I'm going to have to go get some water. Are you open? Oh, this one's not even open. This is my brand new one. Oh, yeah, I love new paint. Um, I can't get it open, but it's a nice new one. Anyway, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, look at that. Still got the seal on it. Ugh. There we go. Almost off. And I'm going to stick my fingers in the paint, of course, to get it off. Uh, there we go. All right, anyway, I'm going to have to go get some water because I don't have any. I'm just going to just put a bunch, whoa, I don't even need that much. Easy there, Jody. Just squirt some paint in your thing and then just add a little bit of water just to make it, I don't know, kind of soupy, like, you know, like chicken noodle soup broth kind of thickness. Okay, let me go grab some water and I'll be right back. All right, we got our water. It's not a lot. It's just a tiny bit you can see in there. And then you're just going to mix it up with your paint. Just take my brush and do it. It's just so easy. I should put something on my table here. Uh, this thing needs to be changed anyway. I have paint all over, but it's white, so you don't really see it. But anyway, there we go. That's nice and thin. You're going to grab yourself a paper towel or an old rag, and then all we're going to do for all of this, inside, outside, legs, everything, we're just going to take this, swish that on there. I love doing this. And it dries so quick, too, when you do it this way. Um, we're just going to paint that up like so. There we go. And then you're just going to take your, you want to wait like a couple seconds here, give it a chance to soak in a little bit, and then we are just going to take this and wipe. And there you go, you're done. And look how pretty that looks. It looks like a nice, rich stain. And then some of these, I'm actually gonna paint this centerpiece here because I'm gonna do them for Easter, but I wanted to show you what they look, look like, you know, without the stripe in the middle of it. But I think I'm gonna paint one of these like with orange or something, or yet maybe yellow, because I'm gonna use carrots and things. So maybe yellow for this centerpiece. I'm not sure yet, I'll have to think about it. But I can think about that while all this stuff is drying. And then I'll finish painting all these up because that's all I'm going to do inside, outside, legs, everything. Just put that paint on, wipe it off, you're done. So as soon as that gets done, we can come back and actually start decorating these. All right, I actually let these sit overnight. Uh, well, mainly just because I couldn't get them done in time. So I let them sit overnight here to dry. And if anybody noticed when I was doing this, I put the handles on the wrong end. You need the handles on the same end that you have your little um, tumbling blocks. And I got them off. Nobody will ever know. Don't tell anybody. I had to peel them off and paint over it and move them over here. But anyway, I fixed that. So then you're going to take, you're going to need, depending on how many of these you're going to make, if you're going to make all of them, you're going to need two of these um, floral phone blocks that they have at Dollar Tree, the square ones. And I just took my old broken um, kitchen knife, and I did this off camera because it's loud and it's annoying. And just cut them down, I cut them in half, and then I had to trim off the sides a little bit to make them fit. So, um, you're going to need one for each one of these things. I have the other little square one over there that I finished. I'll show you that because I already put the flowers and stuff in it. I just add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of this, and then kind of get it right in here. You don't need it to fit the whole thing. This is fine. Um, 
So I got those glued in there. Now these I have to glue in here yet. Um, I'll do that after, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna decorate most of the, this one and the small one is pretty much the same. So I'll do half of this one and then I'll finish it off camera so it doesn't take a lot, a lot of time. Now for this one here, I made that wheel you saw with the um, little checkers. So I decided it needed something in the center. So I took these little gem stickers and I just painted them with some of this, um, what is it? Uh, Parisian gray chalk paint or whatever paint you want to use. You could use a button, you could use whatever you have. I just thought it needed something in the center, like a little hubcap here or whatever. Um, it just looked too, too plain. So we're just gonna put some hot glue in there and stick these little gemstones on here. And there you go, you have your little hubcap there in the center of your wheel. I just thought that would add a little bit more to it. Just look just too, too plain, just the way it was. So that's what I did. But like I said, you can use anything. You have a button, you have a gem, anything, just paint it, and there you go. You have your little hubcaps. Try to get that in the center. I'm not gonna put this wheel on until the very, very end because I'm afraid pushing on it, getting these flowers and carrots and things in here, I'm gonna end up breaking it. But there it is, there's my wheel now. I think that looks better. So we're just gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna take some of this moss. I have it in one of these boxes, which makes my life so much easier. I love these boxes from Dollar Tree. Um, and this is the reindeer moss. I love working with this, especially on my spring projects. It's not dusty, it doesn't fall apart, you know, like, doesn't make a mess too much. So I'm just gonna tuck some of this in here. Um, not on this one yet. You know what, I wanna put these carrots in first. I'm actually gonna stick some of these carrots in here on this empty side and then we're going to fill it in with the moss so let's do that here quick i'm just going to stick four of these carrots here like so and then we can go ahead and just fill this in here with the moss just tuck some of that in there they're not going to go anywhere because they're just sticking out of there nice um, these are sticking out a little more because i didn't get them quite even but there we go, we'll just stick a little moss in there to keep them and some of it can come out of that hole there to cover that up. And then we're just gonna put some more of this moss down in here. You don't need a lot, but this is great. It makes a great filler so you don't have to add so, so much to it. Now I wanna put a couple more carrots in there first before I fill the rest of this moss in. Now these I actually cut because you get, you know, what is it? Six in a pack of these, um, I think that's how these still are. I think these were from last year. I'm not sure how many is in there this year, but there was six um, in a pack. So you just need one pack for this. And then I just took a pair of scissors. Where are my scissors? I'm trying to make these about the same here. And then I just cut them. Just take your scissors, cut them, and then you're gonna need to get a little hot glue here. I need my finger protector too, because this, uh, string is going to want to come off and then you're just going to add a little hot glue there to get that glue back down so it doesn't fall apart on you. There we go. And then I took my scissors and made that one even. This one's not too bad. I'm going to add some hot glue on the bottom of this and we're just going to glue these right in here. But they were just a little bit too tall. I mean you could try to get a hole in there if you wanted to. Here, let me see if I can set that up here. There we go. Look at that. So I've got one of these carrots here, and then I'm gonna put another one in here too. So I forgot to use the whole pack of carrots on here. Oops. There we go. So there's our carrot sticking. Now we can go ahead and put the rest of our moss in here. This is just so quick and easy to fill this in. You can just leave it as is like this and just have a little carrot in your wheelbarrow. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to add any flowers or anything to this or just leave this one as carrots in the wheelbarrow. I don't know. It seems like it needs a little something. We'll see here. Let's see. What do we got? There we go. I can stick out that in there like so. All right, and then this thing too, same thing. I already got these in here. I'm not gonna pull them back out because that's really gonna be a pain. Um, let's set this one aside here real quick 
and we're just gonna fill in. I'll just do one side of this. I'm gonna do both sides exactly the same. And then we're gonna have a nice little Easter bunny in this one. And if you want to glue this moss down, you can, but I don't. I don't like to do too much of that, especially until I'm done. And this is also gonna cover up that centerpiece, so it's gonna look like just one big display here. So you can add a little hot glue to hold this in place, like I said, after you figure out where everything's going. You don't want to put too much hot glue in there first because then it's really hard to get your flowers and things in. All right, now for this one here, this is the one I used these bigger ones from uh, Amazon on. The other one I used the little um, snowman, which looks really cute. I'll show you that one here in a couple minutes. I have so many glue webs hanging off of me. Now for this one, I want to fill in with some of the boxwood from uh, Walmart. I love this stuff. It makes such a great filler. Uh, I don't want it to stick out too far, so I'm going to stick it way in here on an angle. So that just kind of hangs out that way. I'm going to do the same thing over here when I get there. Um, where's my other one? And these are only a dollar, dollar eighty nine or something like that at Walmart. But you can use stuff from Dollar Tree too if you don't want to make a tr special trip to Walmart. Uh, where are my wire cutters? And we're just going to cut these off. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want this big one here in this. Maybe I will. I might put this back here. We're going to put a nice little bunny in here. I have these bunnies. Where are you, bunnies? These are actually, I think they're ornaments. Yes, they are. These are the bunny ornaments. And I don't know what color I want to use. I might use the orange one. Or the yellow one. No, I used the yellow one on the other one. So we're going to take this orange bunny here. Because she's going to be like the centerpiece here. So we're going to get this done. Where's my little scissors? Dollar Tree came out with these little scissors in the very beginning and they're not the same anymore. Now they're kind of wider and a little bit bigger, but these ones that they first came out with, they were wonderful. So I'm going to cut this little hanger off, get that out of there best you can. That's good enough. Good enough, and I want this little girl, little boy, whatever you are here. We're gonna move. See, you wanna move your moss now. Um, I want that glued right on the I'm gonna put it up here, right in the center. I think. Big glob of glue here. We'll put some stuff underneath it to support it. But we'll have this little cute yellow bunny's gonna be sitting right in the center. There we go. Let me stick a little moss over here just to hold her up. There we go, until that glue cools off. All right, so that is that part. We're gonna add some more of the boxwood, not too, too much. Um, I need some that's not so full here. Well, what you can do is cut off these big full ones at the top, and then just take one of these down here on the bottom here. I'm trying to get this turned around here. There we go. Just cut this off, and then there you go. Then you have just these small ones. So I'm going to couple these small ones up towards the back. That looks good right there. And then I do want a couple in the front, but not... Hmm, that's going to be too much. Let's see. Let's cut this off here. Got that piece. We got that big piece. There we go. Then we got these smaller ones that I think will work good in the front here. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Ta-da, look at that, how cute it is already. And then I have all these little flowers from Dollar Tree that I picked up, little teeny weeny flowers. Um, these look really cute in here. Uh, let's see, they're kind of hard to find ones on the wire part. There was a couple I had, but well, we're just gonna have to glue them down in the moss, I guess, because it's really not... Well, this one I could do. Here we go. We'll figure this out. Cut that big piece off. And trust me, if my shaky old hands here could do this, you could do it. <laughs> but we'll stick this way back here so it'll stick out front. There we go. So now we have flowers sticking out there. I love this already. Look how cute. And we're going to get a couple more of these flowers in here. Let's see. 
Um, where did the other one go on me? I don't know. I'm trying to go quickly here, but it's not working. All right, let's cut this down here. Cut this off of here. We'll make them work. There we go. And that one can stick up there in the back. And then another one here. Where do I want you? You can go right over here. These guys. There, that's enough of those for right now. Let's get a couple yellows in here. And I do want to leave room because I want to put a couple of eggs in here too. And these eggs I'm using is actually the egg, the garland that they sell. And I just pull them all off of there. I think I want to put a couple eggs down in here. One face in that way. Let's see, what other one do I want to use? Oops. That's my finger protector on the floor. I'm going to need that. I think I want a blue one. Yeah, these are just a nice size to do this kind of stuff with. All right, so I want one up over here by the bunny. And I don't want too much in here. Um, I'm not gonna fill this in too much more at all because I think less is more sometimes of these kind of things. Don't want it over the top, but I do need something down in there. I don't know if I want boxwood or if I want another flower. Well, let's get some of these little yellow flowers. Like I said, you kind of got to figure out how to get them on a piece of a wire. So there we go. That has a little bit of a wire down there. Let me cut that out. And I don't know if you're going to look good here or not. You know what? If it doesn't look good, we can take it back out. I think that looks just fine. And then maybe another little piece of the boxwood down in there. I don't want you to stick it on the egg. I'm going to get behind the egg. There we go. And then another piece of this. Whoops. Mm, that might be too much. Yeah, that's too much. Too much. It's going to hide my eggs. That'll be good. All right, we're gonna have to hot glue this in here because I don't have any wire on the bottom of this one. Yeah, I started this project yesterday. It was a beautiful day. We sat outside. Um, it was gorgeous. And I got up this morning to about four inches of snow. I think we have about, I don't know, over six inches now. It's still snowing like crazy outside. So I figured perfect time to make some spring <laughs> decorations because I'm so over this winter stuff already. So, so over it. All right, let's have one more yellow one here. Um, oh, come on now. That's a tough one. All right, I'm going to stick it out here. Needs something here. There we go. And I think, I think, I think, maybe I want one of these pink ones in here. Maybe let's grab a couple of these pink flowers, see what we think. These I can't get on any of the wire, so we're gonna have to glue them in. Maybe a pink one. Oh yeah, I think that'll look pretty down in there. So let's get this one glued down in here. Maybe take a little moss over top of it to get that to glue in. There we go. Pink flower peeking out, and let's put another pink flower somewhere else in here. Uh, probably over here would be good. Yeah, we are just gonna glue this baby down. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Okay, that is all I'm putting in this. Um, and I'm gonna do the other side exactly the same way that I did this side. I figure that way it'll save a little bit of time here because this video can get very, very long if we go into detail. All right, now I still don't know what I want to do with this. I don't know if I want flowers in there. I don't think I do. I don't know if I want any boxwood in there. Um, I mean, it might look cute with a little filler. I don't know. Let's see. 
let's see if we add like a little leafy stuff here for these carrots. Maybe just a couple of them hanging off the side here. I don't know, carrots they got leaves. Box with leaves, but they got leaves. All right, let's see. It just seems like it needed a little something. I think that's good. We're going to add a couple more of those. So, um, yeah. So there's not too much in here, but a little something. I don't know. I may add some flowers later on. That's totally up to you guys what you want to do. But it did, definitely did need something. One more. One more over here. Because this one I want to put with my bunnies. And I just want this to be like a little little something to go with my little Easter bunnies. I just thought this would be cute. I can't wait to decorate for Easter. I have that uh, fake grass, like a table runner that they had at the in the uh, plus section. That's hanging over way too far. Um, and I think that's going to look so cool with all my little goodies on there. I cannot wait. I will show you guys when I get it all done. There we go. All right. All right. As far as a wheelbarrow, I think that is good. So let's get this wheel on here. We are just going to put, let's see if everything's going to fall out on me now, just a big glop of hot glue on here. And I want it to stick out the front just a little bit. So under here, I don't think you're going to notice it. So you kind of want it to stick out a little bit. So we are just going to put a big glop of hot glue here to hold this wheel on. There we go. Roll that right in there. And I'm going to let it sit there just like that for a few minutes until it uh, cools. Hopefully I have it straight. Are we straight? It looks pretty straight. Um, and I'll show you here the other one that I did. Now this one I did pretty much the same way. I decorated it the same way with a little yellow bunny in the center. This is the one that has the snowman legs. And I put this yellow stripe on here, which I thought was really nice. So I'm going to show you how I did that because I kind of put it on. I used this Martha Stewart uh, satin acrylic paint. Actually, I got this at Dollar Tree. They must have been having like, you know, getting rid of some stuff. And they had that at Dollar Tree, I don't know, a couple of years ago. So it's really thick paint too. Let me move this moss out of the way. I need this right this second. Gonna, like I said, I'm going to finish that one off camera. Um, and it's all going to be lovely. Can I move you yet? Yes, there you go. All right, so what I did was I just took a little paintbrush, Dollar Tree paintbrush here, and I put a lot of this paint on here, and I have hot glue all over the place. There we go. I put it on quite thick, and I just let it sit for a little bit and let it dry for just a little bit, just in this centerpiece here. Hopefully I can do this with a steady hand. The other side wasn't so steady, but we got it on there. my hands shaky a little making waves we are making waves here today all right actually this afternoon the sun's supposed to come out it's supposed to be like 40 degrees this is like the weirdest weather my daffodils are all trying to come up now they're all buried under the snow again <laughs> it's just nuts out there right now but hopefully this snow is going to stop soon i'm going to Throw me a roast in the crock pot because I love to cook in the crock pot when it's snowing. So, all right, there we go. So I got that on there. Just let it set for like a not even a couple minutes, a few seconds really. And then I took just one of these baby wipes. I hear you can just use a paper towel, but I always keep this little pack of Dollar Tree baby wipes here to do stuff with. And then I just took that and kind of just wiped most of it off because I didn't want it to look really painted. I wanted like more of a weathered kind of look. So that's all I did was just take this baby wipe and wipe it off. And I even scrub it just a little bit here. All right, I didn't want that there. Let me another baby wipe. 
bottom here. Got it where I don't want it. That's okay, it came off, there we go. But that's it, just wipe most of it back off. And then you get that kind of a, more of like a weather type look. Not so, you know, bright, I don't want it bright yellow painted, so I think that's really cute. And you can sit these all around. I mean, what a nice little gift this would be for somebody too. Um, so let me set her back over there. She's so cute. I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to tell you guys here, but yeah, and here's our one with our little wheelbarrow with the wheel on the front now. I think that's so cute. And then I'll just sit like so with my bunnies. I can't wait. I'm going to actually probably put my little bunnies in here when I take a picture of this at the end. So let me set that one over here too out of the way because you're done. Except for getting rid of some of the glue webs. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. Um, like I said, I'm going to do it exactly the same way as that side. Just make it match. And then I will take some nice pictures of, the, of these at the end. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy these three little projects. I think they're so darn cute and they're going to look great just sitting around or gifting whatever. And like I said, if you don't want to decorate them for Easter, you could just decorate them for spring and have it out for a long, long time. But I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.